Yeah. Hello and welcome guys. Hope you are doing well. You can see here Bluehost. In this video, we will see how you can connect to your Bluehost, how to connect with FileZilla, how to change the root password and how to access your code files. That means if you have a website and you can access your code files, that means the file system from your FTP, FTP like FileZilla, then how you can do that. Okay, so in this video, we'll see everything, uh, all the points mentioned here, step by step. Now, so if you come to uh, Bluehost after login, you will you will land here. Okay, so basically you will land here on the home page here, and if you are not coming there, you will have to come here under home. If you click on home, you will reach here. Okay. On this page you will reach then from here you will have to go under hostings and from here you will find basically the IP address of your ongoing system so for connecting with the file you will require the IP address okay your domain name then you will have the username Oh, so it will be root because I I am using the VPS plan and here the password okay and again the password will be of root so this will be root password got it so now the question will be how I can get this root password okay so suppose you, you forget that root password then how I am telling you a, how you can reset in case you forget we will have that password okay from here you can see if you come under hosting to manage everything you will have the hosting plan under Bluehost if you don't have or you are only buying domains then this feature will not be applicable in your case because this is all around the hostings okay so accessing the file system is all around hosting so currently you see this is the system this is my IP address and root password you can see here in case you forget your root password and you are able to log into your Bluehost account then you can reset from here if you click it will be asking for the robust password and you have to put here and just click on reset got it then you will be uh, getting password something like this let's see and this combination of IP address, username, and the password will be enough to connect to uh, your instance using this help of FileZilla. Now coming to FileZilla. So I have already put every information there. Suppose here, if I come under site, my site manager, you can see here I have already put my data. This is my IP. And you can see here uh, the connection I am go moving ahead with that is SFTP. Okay, we don't have to worry around SSH. This is just the SFTP you can consider. Then uh, the norm normal one. Then we'll have the username as a root, as I told you. Then you have the password. And this password is just a root one. The moment you click on this, we'll have you see the connection message here okay so let me try again sorry i click on okay i have to click on here connect uh, you will receive the pop-up message like this well so now the listing the directory will appear here in front of you the root in case you have to move out from here you'll have to come on top okay so this is your file system you can access whatever you require in case you want to go with win then dev then etc everything you can here okay so you are done with this part you can connect your file how to connect bluehost to connecting bluehost will have your uh, username sometimes it will be uh, not a username you can say this is your site name your domain and you can say then you will have your password so combination of these two will be required to log into your bluehost account so which bluehost account 
this is the one I am talking about okay so you will have this two then if you press the enter to move ahead proceed further it will send you on the OTP to your email registered email address register email ID you will have your OTP so moment you try putting your username and password and hit this uh, proceed further button you will have the OTP on your email ID then you will have to put that in correct OTP to make your login successful so once you log in you will come here basically on the home page okay and the, on the left side you will find the email and office the domains hostings Okay, sometimes you will find you are not coming on the home page because just because of uh, the page you frequently visit so that particular page will appear in case that is on sessions okay so in case you don't see home page you can come here on profile and you can click on home so that's it you will be landed here on this page for the hosting details I can see my plan okay so this is the disk usage I can see this is my plan my hosting plan is unlimited VPS server with cPanel okay so this is my IP and this is the root password and I was able to connect with this got it so you are clear with this two point now coming to how you can change password you are also done with this part okay I just told you will have to land here on the hosting page hosting tab then you will have to click here on the reset got it so this is the options so under hosting will have to come then you will have to click on reset password reset root password then reset Now coming to the last questions of this uh, tutorial. So how you can access your core files? Suppose I have a site associated with and I have to access the file system. Then if you log into your this uh, particular C panel. Now the question is how you will come here? Let me tell you. So from this hosting plan you'll have to click you can see here the quick links and you'll have to click here on WHM let's click on this and see what appears in front of me yes so this is WHM this is basically a panel a manager panel from here you will see stuffs then we'll have to click here on the list accounts so it will display me all the accounts that is listed under this particular uh, Bluehost and you can see this is my domain name okay so under domain name you also see that this is the logo of CP C panel so if I click on this I will redirect it to the C panel. So let me add here one more question how to access the C panel. So this is the step how you can uh, access your C panel. So now you are here on the C panel from here you can access your file systems. Okay. So the file system you can access through cPanel also. Okay, so this is the steps through cPanel. And other I will also show you through FTP. Okay, and I just uh, show you the step how you can come to cPanel. Now this is your code. From cPanel, you will have to come under public HTML. Then this is your particular website. 
okay so you come and click on this uh, that name this website and you will have the code of this now the same thing you can access this via your uh, this particular FTP that is FileZilla okay so now how you will get the path this is a big questions so for that you can see here the I home slash this this is basically the path you will have to reach from here so first thing I will search here home either search for home under this list and I will click on that or you can type simply here on top so if I type remote I can see the list of directories and file here now coming to this what is this this is basically your directory associated with this particular domain and that name you can access from here as well that is idq so now you can see you have the file access from your filezilla ftp and you are able to access the same file system through your c panel so this is the two way you can access your file system so ftp may be any types of ftp in case you have any other vendor of ftp like filezilla you can also access from that got it so this is your basically file system then you will have to come under public html the similar way you come here okay this is your public html the same way we can access here under cpanel you can access here under filezilla okay hopefully you will have some learn will have some graphs around this how you can play around uh, Bluehost and the FileZilla connection around your uh, given particular IP so that's it from this video thank you thank you for watching and have a great day ahead